What's going on guys? I am back with another recipe video and if you've been watching the recipes lately you've seen me make some desserts out of kind of unconventional ingredients. The last recipe we made some cookie dough out of beans that turned out great. We're going to stick to that theme today and we are going to make cookies using an avocado as one of the ingredients. I love avocados. I get guacamole every time I go to Chipotle and you don't think this would taste good in a cookie but it does. I promise you it keeps the cookies from drying out and keeps them moist and it's a really good ingredient for a lot of these baking recipes with protein powder. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so kicking off the recipe, what we're going to do, the first ingredient is an avocado. Got to open that up, make sure it is ripe because when I was at the grocery store, it was hard to find a ripe avocado. You don't want to get one that's super, super firm. So that one looks pretty good. Take a spoon, scrape out the inside. And then we're gonna go with two bananas. And then we'll take a fork and mash this up. And I know this right here, I mean, bananas and avocado, look at that. Not really the most appetizing combination, but I promise we're going somewhere with this. Just mash it up. Once those are mashed up, we're going to add in two scoops of chocolate or vanilla, any flavor of protein powder. Of course, I've got the salted caramel from my protein back there. You got the discount links in the description if you are interested. And then we're going to roll with a half a cup of some oats, around 40 grams. Next up is four tablespoons of some unsweetened baking cocoa. Obviously that's going to get rid of that kind of weird green color we have, which is good. And this ingredient right here is optional, but this is some PB2. You guys have probably seen it on my channel back to 2011. Pick some up today, why not add a little peanut butter flavor in this. Basically it's just powdered peanut butter, way less fat. So if you're on a cut, you got a low fat macro day or whatever, try some of this stuff out. Two tablespoons goes a long way. And then we'll add in two tablespoons of sweetener and then about three tablespoons of some chocolate chips. I've got dark chocolate chips because let's face it, dark chocolate is better in my opinion. And now we'll take a spoon and mix all this up. So after you've got it mixed up, you can go ahead and try out the batter, and the batter's gonna taste pretty much like the cookies. So if you don't think it is sweet enough for some reason, you can always add in a little more sweetener. I added like two more tablespoons in there, but really just make it however you want. After you've got the batter mixed up, I got some parchment paper here, and we're going to spoon out our cookies. And now that we are done with that, these are gonna go into the oven. It's preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna leave those in there for probably 15 minutes or so, I make kind of bigger cookies. If you make a bunch of smaller ones, cook time is less. If you make bigger ones, the cook time goes more. So I'm gonna start at 15 minutes. We may need to go a little bit longer than that, but as always, keep your eye on them. So I let these cook for 15 minutes and I let them cool on the counter for 20 minutes and they're good to go now. And you can top them off with a protein frosting or something like a peanut butter. And that's what I'm going to do today. And once you're done topping those off with peanut butter or whatever else you wanted, this is what you are left with. I used the dark chocolate cocoa, so a dark chocolate peanut butter protein cookie right here. They really do taste great. To prove to you guys that they don't taste bad, I'm going to try one out on camera. But if you guys like the recipe video, give it a like down below. I appreciate it very much. And let's try these out. The taste is great and I'm definitely going to be using avocado in more recipes from now on. So thank you guys very much for watching. As always, you can check my cookbook out here or down below in the description. I'm going to go polish off this cookie and I will talk to you guys next time.